Hello my friends and thank you for joining me. My name is Julia and today I want to show you a mixed media project with stamps from Danielle Mack and I will link to Sari Stamping Studio who just now have them in stock in the description box below. I'm starting with little pieces of book pages as a frame in my big dilutions journal. This page already has a coat of gesso and I'm going to use Dina Wakely's paint in ruby, magenta and blush and I just put paint on my pages and I have fun spreading it out. These paints are thick and I want to see those brush strokes in the paint I put down. Next I have some plain collage paper and I want to stamp this beauty on the collage paper. I stamp her in archival black suit to get those crisp black outlines. I am going to use multi matte medium to glue the face down and seal it. Now that I have my face in place I bring out those same paints again and fill in the curls around her face and add more curls where I want them. Danielle Mack's stamps are so versatile and she also has a whole stamp set with faces that I used in a previous video and they are perfect for anyone feeling unsure of how to draw a face. Next I bring out a uniball pen that writes well on acrylics and I fill in the curls around her face and outline some of the other curls. Now let's return to this beautiful stamp set and stamp that gorgeous butterfly. I stamped the butterfly in archival black ink on watercolor paper. To color the butterfly I brought out many shades of blue dilutions acrylic paint. I start with the purple crushed grapes and I fill in the upper edge and the body with purple paint and blend it out with water. Next I use blue Hawaiian paint on the edges and bring in the dark blue after midnight to give the edges some dimension. For the inside of the wings I use shimmer paint in calypso teal and after midnight to give them some shade. Then I outline the spots with purple and fill them in with calypso teal and after midnight. For the inner wings I use crushed grapes and after midnight and blend them out with water. Next I use that uniball pen to outline her hair and some individual curls. It's time for my woman to get some color in her face and I use a watercolor palette from Prima called Complexion to give her a skin tone. I can't show you the whole process because I went back and forth between highlights and shadows a lot. I 
use a light pink for her lips and then I bring in these Jane Davenport drama sticks that my friend Linda gave me and I scribble it on and smudge with my finger. When I fill in her pupils and give them a glare of light with my white gel pen, she starts to come to life. Next, I'm going over the two pages with my anti-static powder bag because I intend to bling her hair up with a lot of heat embossing. I use my Mercer Mark embossing pen to draw in some curls and cover them with Nouveau gold embossing powder and melt them. While I frame her hair with golden curls, I want to thank you who are watching. You mean the world to me and I am so grateful you are here. Next, I stole a paintbrush from my kids with thick plastic bristles. I used the embossing dauber to put embossing ink on my surface and dip the brush in it before I drag the brush along the curls, making glimmering brush strokes in her hair. I make many glimmering brush strokes because I love the subtle texture. When I have enough gold I switch to WOW's Amber Rose Glitter Embossing Powder. And I do the same process, making brush strokes with embossing ink and covering with that amber rose embossing glitter that doesn't show a lot on camera but really shine in real life. I paint her eyes brown and then I bring out a teal watercolor pencil. The woman are in warm colors so I want her to pop against the cold blue background. I scribble on the pencil and activate the color with a wet brush, framing my lady and when I have my blue frame. I use my black Stabilo Oil Pencil to darken the edges even more, scribbling it on and dragging the color out with water. Then I use the blue pencil to frame her shin and the edges of her hair and tie everything together. Finally, I stamp a few of the words included in the stamp set in black on white paper. Words like bold, fearless and free. I glue down that blue butterfly in her hair and then I use multi-matte medium to glue and seal the words. Lastly, I make scribbly black lines around the words. And now, this mixed media fierce woman is finished. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you back here soon again. Until the next time, see you soon.